What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. Really? Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Right. Come here. Okay. We'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. At first, Jenk was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, and the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names.
Dad, it's Mr. Crane! Well, well. Small world. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but I couldn't risk you tailing me. These guys are pretty serious about following their procedures. This isn't fair to Salma. Salma and me are done. That's not the point. So, what is? You got something in mind? I've still got a gun, you know. Crane, we've got the rule. Everybody minds their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you don't go through. <sighs> no problem. Okay, from here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We need to do this one by one. And this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here.
but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. What? What did you do? What I had to. What can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. we supposed to wait for them? As long as it takes. Relax. You got something better to do? Enjoy the peace and quiet. Quiet! I heard the Reckon do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it, will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me.
Savior's my ass. The bastards are working with Rice. They ambushed me and I barely got past them. So much for trusting people. nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, it's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our law. Head that way, and we'll be waiting. Dr. Camden, do you copy? Crane here. Camden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? I'm in Sector Zero. Is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First I have to find Jade and recover Zera's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. on my machete. You've got to see it. You've just got to. So come and visit me, okay? Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah. That's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Crane! <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. I've almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade? Hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rise's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is... The GRE hired me, right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this this classified file, but but that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Bastard. You bastard! Jade! Jade! Damn it. Crane. The last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her.
Copy. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside world. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jade. I'll be in touch. And if I may make a suggestion, avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous, but now they're mutating into something even more deadly. Sammy, it's Mr. Crane. Are you in here? Please don't hurt me! Go away! Leave me alone! Easy, kid. Hey, it's all over. Are you alright? My dad got hurt. He said he's becoming like the other sick people, and that he couldn't protect me anymore. He said if I came out of the cabinet, he would hurt me, but that once he was sick, I'd be safe because he wouldn't remember I was in there. Your dad saved your life. Where is he? Sammy, he's gone. There's, there's nothing anyone could do. Now listen, I have to get you back to your mom. I wish I could have stayed with her. Troy, it's Crane. Go ahead. I got a little boy here. He's been through a rough ride. He could use some spoiling. I'll have someone there in five minutes. Can we get him back to his mother at the tower? I'll take him there myself if I have to. Thanks, Troy.
Bring me his head!
Ah, you're here, finally. So, <clears throat> this version is way better than the last one, but it, it still needs some calibration. Plus, uh, well, be sure not to cut yourself with it, okay? Like, not even a little. Be really sure, huh? Got it? Oh, my mom would be so proud if she could see me now. Was it? Did you like the electricity arcing all over their heads? Electricity? Wasn't this a poisoned weapon? Poison? No, 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 no. It was an electric machete. I distinctly remember charging up the... No, no, no. Wait a minute, that might have been the other one. Uh, maybe this one was poisoned. Here, give it back. I need to work on it some more. Thank you. 